I said that a, a number of weeks ago, uh, that um, this nominee is what we don't need right now. I did have a... Um, I had a met with him, and I appreciated him coming to uh, meet with me, uh, because I still think these hearings are incredibly important. That being said, we are in a situation right now where only 2% of the documents from his time um, in the White House have been made public. 2%. Only 6% of them have been given to the Senate Judiciary Committee. And that's why I think in a Minnesota way, and as a former prosecutor, we want to be able to look at the evidence before we have a hearing. We are literally going into hearing uh, with seeing only 6% of the documents. The second thing I'd say is this is an incredibly important position. Over the last decades, the Supreme Court has made decisions about who you can marry, about where you can go to school, about what the safety regulations are that protect you at work. And when you look at the record of this nominee, uh, you see someone who has not been in the mainstream. He has advocated for a very expansive role of executive power, including saying that a president should be able to declare laws unconstitutional himself. Uh, he has said that you should be able to, that we should pass a law to strike down the special counsel statute, which is exactly the opposite of where the Senate Judiciary came, where Democrats and Republicans voted for a bill that would strengthen that statute. He was in the dissent on protecting the net neutrality rules. Uh, he has had a very conservative view of enforcing antitrust laws at a time when we've seen a record number of mergers. And he actually wrote a dissent where he said he would strike down the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. That's why this is not the nominee for this time. We need a check and balance and an independent judge on the Supreme Court. <laughs>